Good morning, everyone, from the Georgia International Horse Park in Conyers, Georgia. This facility is just so stunning, I can hardly believe it. This was a stopover on our way to New Orleans later today, and it's just gorgeous, and I definitely wanted to film a quick episode here because it puts me um, in a place where I'm really thinking about companion activities to writing. Most of us who are writers have other things we do as well, right? This, this image is sort of like the lone artistic writer sitting at their desk from dawn to dusk, not doing anything else, not having a life, just isn't realistic. Um, many of us have families, we have jobs outside of the writing, so there are other responsibilities. But I'm curious about what writers do um, that's, that's sort of a, maybe a more physical activity or something that really is not related directly to the writing um, and how that can benefit the writing. So decades ago, years and years and years ago, when I was a young um, aspiring author, I was also very involved with horses. I was involved with Arabian horses for 30 years and I did a lot of training, a lot of lessons, a lot of judging and showing and endurance riding and just a lot of things with my horses. And I had uh, one gelding in particular who was very dear to me. If you look at the first video on my channel, actually, you will see a senior horse gets his scritches and that's Zari, my beloved Arabian gelding who sadly passed several years ago. But he was 33, so he did have a very long life. Um, but I spent a lot of time at facilities, not unlike this one. And um, it just reminds me that it's so important, I think, when we can, it doesn't have to be a huge thing like being, you know, completely involved in this, you know, some a sport like an equestrian related sport. But if you have maybe another sport that you do or another, another, um, avocation something you just really love maybe it's, it's hiking in nature maybe it's traveling which at this time in my life I'm more and more drawn to for sure and I find it definitely complements the writing if you have that it can be a wonderful thing to enrich the writing I'll never forget uh, sort of getting back to what I was starting to say when a writing student of mine gave me a little pad of paper and at the top was a cartoon of a girl on a horse writing in her journal and the caption underneath it said, a writer and a writer. And I really thought, oh, that's pretty cool. That's a great play on words. And it was actually the title of my first blog way back in the day, like 20 years ago. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I think about things like that. I think about how important it is on one hand to be single-minded of purpose in our writing. And on another hand, to not be so single-minded of purpose that we sort of lose sight of um, getting a little calcified in it, right? So we, we can lose sight of how important it is to flex our muscles, our literal muscles, and maybe our intellectual muscles, uh, creative muscles in other ways as well. So to not just be sort of only writing all the time and that's all we think about and that's our, really our only goal. And I do get that when you're working on a a project, especially a pretty big project, say a, a novel length work of fiction, that you are going to tend to need to be more single-minded of purpose as that is coming to completion. Let's say you're trying to get that first draft written. I do get that. That tends to be um, something that can be all-consuming and for good reason, but it's typically pretty temporary. Once that draft is done, yes, you'll have editing and yes, you'll move on to other phases, but hopefully you're not sort of chained to the writing desk as I think of it. Um, and I've got the dogs here too, so they are they are here with me as I'm shooting this. I can't get a good shot of them. Agnes, there she is. There's Agnes, the cattle dog, having just a great time here. So I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'm really interested. What do you do? What's what's your other thing, or maybe you have multiple things that you do that complement your writing, but that are really in very minimal ways, if at all, related. To the writing what's the thing that helps to keep your writing fresh and maybe if you're hitting a rough patch with the writing you can take refuge in that other thing for a while until you sort of can hit the reset button so if you think about it drop a comment hit the like button i think i'm just shy of 400 subscribers so i really look forward to getting that next subscriber i could be at 400 i haven't checked it in the last 24 hours but um, i'd love a subscription 
all that good stuff. So again, we are hitting the road here. I will see you all in New Orleans, NOLA. I'm so excited. I love that city. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon.